I have done a lot of talk radio for this book that I just wrote. And by a factor of maybe eight or nine to one, it's all conservative radio. So how does that impact? Never mind about me and my book. You know that the, the debate that's going on, the public discourse that, go, that goes on in this country is dominated, at least in radio terms, by some of the most extreme voices. And, and, and I know from these interviews as well that they're not just of one side or another, but it's very hard to have a factual discussion with some of these people who say that, for instance, the president's a socialist or numbers don't count or whatever it is. So um, it's not healthy. Um, it distorts the politics. And um, there clearly needs to be more balance. Will there ever be the same kind of balance? I don't think so. Um, but there needs to be more balance. There definitely needs to be um, people on both sides having their voices heard. I think this is a crisis that's also happening in print, okay? So uh, I, I do think the non-profit model is probably the way forward for a lot of different journalistic entities. And because there is a, a, there's a public service function to all of this stuff. And, and we're, unus we're uncomfortable saying public service should be on one side of the partisan divide or other, but radio representative radio, balanced radio is has got to be in the mix and I, I don't know where the profits lie for that but I do think that as a non-profit level whether it's through foundations or corporate giving or individual donors and of course listeners, that's, that's the way forward but how you the mechanics of it in print and in broadcast, I, I think we're still trying to figure I out. I think in the current political environment, hoping that Washington is going to fix this is, is not going to happen. This has to come from the grassroots.